much fun to be a part of busy town. Oh, oh. Keep your spirits soaring while we're exploring our busy world. The Busy World of Richard Scary. You have a fever, Huckle. Now let's listen to your heart. How does he sound, Dr. Lion? This is Huckle's fourth sore throat this year. I think he should have his tonsils out. You mean go to the hospital? You're not scared, are you, Huckle? Heck no. Don't worry. I'll take your whole family on a hospital tour before we check you in. Good morning, Nurse Nora. Good morning, Dr. Lyon. All's quiet in the emergency room. Wow! This is the emergency room. It's empty now, but not for long. Stand aside, everyone. It's an emergency. Oh, good morning, Mr. Crumble. We held your usual room. Hello, Nurse Dora. Afraid I fell on my nose again, chasing my hat. Well, I'm glad you found it. This is the physical therapy room, where we have whirlpool baths and exercise equipment. Toys don't belong with this kind of bath, Huckle. It's for therapy, to help injured people get stronger. Sorry, Dr. Lyon. And this is the radiology lab. They've got skeletons in here. <laughs> They're not spooky skeletons, Sally. These are x-ray pictures of Mr. Frumble. They must be really old pictures. Look how skinny he used to be. No, no. This x-ray machine took pictures of the bones inside him. See? Here's his broken nose. Can we borrow this machine for Halloween? I don't think so, Sally. And finally, this is our courtyard, where all our patients can rest and relax while they get better. See, Huckle, it's not so bad. Everyone does seem to like it here. Okay, I'll have the operation. But, but only if Lolly can stay with me. Of course. He can sleep on a sofa in the visitor's lounge. We'll have fun, Huckle. Huckle? You asleep? No. What are you doing there? I've decided not to have my operation. You're leaving because you're scared. Scared? Ha ha! Well, maybe just a little. Maybe if you talk to the other people who are here, you'll feel better. You really think so? Let's go see Sprout Goat. Okay. Hi, Sprout Goat. Why are you in the hospital? I'm here for another operation to straighten out my leg. It's the fourth and last time. You've been here four times? Aren't you scared? I was at first, but the nurses are so nice. And besides, I get to stay up late. But don't the operations hurt? A little bit afterwards, but you sleep right through the operation and don't feel a thing. What are you in for? To have my tonsils out. You're lucky. After that operation, you'll get all the ice cream you can eat. Ice cream? Ice cream? All you can eat? I wonder if worms have tonsils. Ice cream sounds good, but I'm still leaving. Let's talk to one more person. There's Mr. Frumble's room. Mr. Frumble's bed is all folded up. See, even he left. Could you please push the button? I can't quite reach it. Oh! Oh! Thank you. Dear me, 
One day I must learn how to use those buttons. Mr. Frumble, are you scared to be in a hospital? Heavens no. I come here all the time. Everyone is so nice. <sighs> oh dear. With Sprout or Mr. Frumble's problems, you need to be in a hospital. But all I have is a little sore throat. Mrs. Stitches? What's wrong with you? Not a thing, boys. I have a new baby, and this hospital is taking the best care of both of us. Well, she certainly looks happy to be here. Hmm. I guess if a little baby isn't afraid to be here, I shouldn't be either. You're right. Come on. I'm going back to my room. Goodbye, Mrs. Stitches. Now, Huckle, try to count backwards from 100. 100, 99, 98. OK. 100, 99, 90, 11, 98, 98. Huckle? Huckle, are you all right? 97. Hey, what are you guys doing here? The operation's over, Huckle. You've been asleep for hours. How do you feel, darling? Okay, except my throat's still sore. Don't worry. You'll feel better tomorrow, and even better the next day. How about a little ice cream, Huckle? Ow! Oh. Hey, Sprout. You said I could have all the ice cream I wanted. No, I said all the ice cream you could eat. But I guess you can't eat any yet. Well, if I have my tonsils out, mm, mm, you can eat my ice cream, okay? <laughs> Imagine that. I love riding in elevators. Me too. An elevator is a machine that moves people and the things up and down. The car is connected to a long metal rope, it's called a cable, and the cable is strong. The wheels on the top are called pulleys, and the cable goes over these two. A motor turns the wheels and the elevator moves up and down, that's what the pulleys do. Up and down, down and up, up and down, high and low. Up and down, down and up, that's where elevators go. Elevators help us move lots of things. You can find them all over town. They can carry pianos, presents, and people going down and up, up and up and down. Why isn't it moving? Uh, Huckle, we forgot to push the button. Oops. <gasps> Welcome to Africa. Yikes! These African desert winds can be dangerous. So can the rivers and... Whoa! Whoa! Yikes! Whoa! The jungle. But many people think the most dangerous place in Africa is the savanna, home of the lion. <laughs> No one is more afraid of the lions than Cucumber the photographer. How can you be afraid of lions, Cucumber? You're the bravest photographer in all of Africa. You weren't afraid to photograph the rhinos or the big elephant. Now, I want you to go and find out about the lions. Bring me back some great shots. I am not taking one step into that savanna. No way, no how. Why do I always let Editor Eddie talk me into these things? Don't worry, Cucumber. This is going to be fun. Fun? I have to photograph the lions. I call that dangerous. I'd call your driving dangerous. Watch out! Nice paint job. A nice landing. Are you here to help me cut the grass? No. We've come to photograph the lions. 
Where do the lions go? Where? <gasps> oh! They can't be that bad, can they? How can you take pictures at a time like this? I never pass up a chance to get great action shots. Even of the lions? The lions? <laughs> you like to live dangerously? Whoa! Running these rapids is dangerous. <laughs> Don't worry, we can handle ourselves. Sure, but can you handle a 10 foot, 800 pound lion? All ashore that's going ashore. <laughs> This whole trip is risky. Ah! Woo! Ah! It's the lions! Sorry about that, folks. I didn't see you down there. Aren't you, Cucumber, the bravest photographer in Africa? That's me. Well, then, why do you look so scared? Scared? Us? We... We're trying to get some shots of the lions. Well, you'll have to wait until nightfall. They only come out at night. Have you ever seen them? Nope, not me. They're too dangerous. That's what we hear, too. <laughs> How does it feel to be brave? I, I wish I could remember. Are you sure you're gonna be all right under there? Don't worry about me. I always sleep under my bed. But aren't you gonna stay up and keep watch with me? No, thanks. You're the bravest photographer in Africa. I'm just an assistant. That's right. I'm a brave photographer, the bravest photographer in Africa. I'm so <gasps> brave. I'm brave. <gasps> I'm tired. Hmm, what's this? This tent wasn't here before. I wonder who lives here. But, but, what if someone scary lives in this tent, Daddy? It's our duty to guard the savanna at night, girls. We have to be brave. Come on. We are brave lions. We are brave lions. <laughs> Come on in. Looks like nobody's home. Look! Whoever lives here has lots of fun toys. Aha! Uh -huh. A very suspicious machine. Daddy! Daddy! Look at these cute dolls! One for each of us! Can we keep them, please? You can play with them, but you may not take them. Mother Lion! Look at this! It's time to go, girls. I don't think there's anything to worry about here. Aww, we were having so much fun. Good night, little dolls. I wonder what this thing does besides make noise. Watch it! Hmm. We like quiet on the savannah. There. All in a night's work. Well, Cucumber, you're still in one piece. Did you meet any of those mean and dangerous lions out there? Well, uh, you see... We got lots of other pictures. Very exciting. I feel like I'm right in the Jeep with you. That's some boat ride. Cucumber, look at the lions. They're dancing. Lions? lions? Dancing? You proved the lions aren't dangerous after all. Why, they look like they're your best friends. Cucumber was never afraid of the lions again. As a matter of fact, no one was. Play it safe. 
careful, Huckle. What's wrong, Lily? You might hit those electrical wires. When you fly a kite, do it carefully. Power lines have electricity. Always fly them in an open space. Away from poles or trees is the safest place. Be as careful as you can be. When you're near electricity, a rule to follow for your own safety is water doesn't mix with electricity. If you're wet, play it smart. Don't touch anything with an electric heart. If electric things break like the radio, don't fix it yourself. Ask someone who knows with plugs and wires. Be careful too. Always play it smart. Let a grown up help you. Be as careful as you can be when you're near electricity. Be as careful as you can be. Smart move, Huckle. Is this where we're going to have our school picnic, Miss Honey? No, Lonely, it's still a little bit farther. I love picnics. Are you sure you don't want to come, Spotty? No, thanks. I have to get back to school. Have fun, everybody. Okay, everybody. We're going to a beautiful spot upriver, and we're taking this boat to get there. Where are we going to stop, Miss Honey? I'm getting hungry. It's just a little bit farther, Linny. Up to that dock over there, see? Hey, I've got a bite! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Huckle! Your mom made us an apple pie. And I made some of my super deluxe banana sandwiches with mayonnaise. And I have just the thing for shade. My, Hilda, that certainly is a handy knapsack you have. I like to keep a few extra things for emergencies. about rain. We'll have to find shelter until this storm passes. It should be nice and dry in this cave. But it's so dark. No, Lily, I brought these lanterns, just in case of an emergency. They won't be much help if we run into a monster. Stay with me. I'll protect you. Whoa! and look for the lost city of gold. Or the lost city of bananas. Let's make the cave nice and cozy, just in case we have to stay here all night. All night? Oh, no. I brought these along, just in case. Here, have a seat, Miss Honey. Hmm, I'm sure I put a mattress in here somewhere. Couldn't we just stand out in the rain? I don't mind getting wet. Look, Sally, there's nobody here but us. What are you looking for, Huckle? Signs of cavemen. <gasps> Huckle, look! Ancient cave paintings. They don't look very ancient to me. See? They're still wet. Someone just made these. Someone? Or something? Maybe we... we better go back. <gasps> You'll feel better once I get everything set up. It'll seem just like home. A monster! Help! What monster? Where? It was right over there. Why, Sally, it was just a shadow of Banana's gorilla. There is no such thing as a monster. Now just calm down, everybody. There's nobody in here but us, right, Huckle? Uh, Billy Dog, if we're all alone, what are those things? You mean those six yellow eyes? 
Six eyes! <laughs> now, we're being silly. There are no monsters. Well, then what has six eyes but isn't a monster? I don't suppose you have any monster repellent in there, do you, Hilda? I'm gonna prove that there is no monster in that cave. I'm going back inside. Miss Honey, you can't go in there alone. Lowly and I will go with you. We're not scared of monsters, are we? Bananas? Um, I was gonna stay out here and guard the other kids. You see, nothing, no monsters. We were pretty silly for thinking there was a monster here, huh, Loli? <laughs> Look! Feet! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Children, I found your monster. Come and see. She got the monster? Wow, she's pretty tough. It was just Wolfgang, Benny, and Harry. They went into the cave to get out of the rain, too. We thought all of you were monsters. Being scared sure makes me hungry. Scared. Well, it's stopped raining. Why don't you join our picnic? We have plenty to eat. Yay! Oh, no! The storm ruined our picnic. No food, no games. What else could go wrong? We could be stranded here. Oh, no! Oh, no. Hi, kids. Looks like you need a lift. When I saw the rain, I thought you might need some help. Spotty, I'm so glad you're here. I really wanted this to be the perfect picnic. Well, I know just the way to save the day. A picnic at the beach isn't exactly what I planned. Well, sometimes the things you don't plan turn out to be the most fun of all. <laughs> Now all we need is a surfboard! I just might have one in here somewhere. 